What's going on, everybody? Welcome to T3G. I'm Full Throttle. Cerebro. And today we're doing a uh, kind of like a comparison video. I guess, should you buy pre made or should you build your own? Or what's the advantage of each, I guess? Yeah, I suppose. I guess. So basically, we went to, well, you're going to see on the website, we went to Fry's and we were walking around and then we stopped by their uh, computer section. And they just had, to going on. yeah, just to see what they had, what kind of devices they had up. And um, obviously they had some pre-builds from like Asus and Dell and all them companies, but they also had some pre-builds from like Cybertron PC and Cyber Power and I stuff like power. that. And I buy power. So we found a Cybertron PC system at their location and it ran for $31.79, as you can see here. And uh, basically, it's got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got 32 gigs of RAM, and let's go to the specs here, make it a little easier. So it's got a 9590 uh, FX processor from AMD, and that's 4.7 gigahertz. And when you run this processor, you do need liquid cooling. Now, you can get the processor without liquid cooling and buy the liquid cooling separately, or you can buy it with liquid cooling already packaged. Let me adjust this. Yeah, let's get you in the picture, huh? I was gonna say just. I was like gonna say just half of you, like... half of you, just half of you. Um, then also the man there. Who was halfway there? I know the. Man... <laughs> They are running 8.1, Windows 8.1 on here, which actually I forgot to include, but we can include that with the video. 990FX motherboard, 32 gigs of RAM, two GTX 980s, which is very impressive. 128 gig uh, solid state drive, two terabyte hard, mechanical hard drive at 7200 RPMs. Uh, DVD dual layer burner, of course the USB ports, that's all part of the motherboard and i believe that's it you get one year's parts and labor warranty and lifetime tech support now with this they didn't give us too much detail on everything else so i wanted to know what else was more specific in there so we went to cybertron cybertronpc.com and we went to their customized section to see exactly what they're running so the cooler is an Antec cooler 120 millimeter liquid cooler gigabyte board uh the 32 gigs of ram is 1866 by ballistic we cut we try to go as close as possible to their i guess parts that they use company wise sure but uh we didn't stay exactly the same but regardless that being said we still i mean it's the parts are going to be very very close so the GTX 980s are, well, it doesn't even say, but it might be yellow coolers. It might be Zotac, not sure, but 980s, the four gigabyte editions, Crucial 128 gig hard drive and a Toshiba two terabyte hard drive, which is actually not bad. I thought they might've been using like a Seagate or something, but I went with a Western Digital, so. Whatever, it doesn't I mean, really. I mean, the, you could have put the t Toshiba four terabyte. Right. I mean, well, we'll get we'll get to just that. Just a one up. Man. We'll get, get to one that. Up and shit. Uh, they don't have a raid array set up. If you want raid, um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that. Or you can, I'm sure, as you can see on their website, you can request it. I think with the actual build itself, it doesn't come with it. Just a standard optical dual layer drive. Doesn't say the company. This is a half 912 mid tower case. It's got the green accents on it. I couldn't find the green accents where we decided which is new egg as you can see the tabs at the top but regardless it's still a 912 half from cooler master so I don't think that matters and this is what's weird me and him were having a discussion here just a minute ago it doesn't make any sense but all right they have a 750 ultra power supply that's auto selected that's automatically what's there so we're not sure if maybe this just starts with all the number one sh options right or because it shouldn't let you pick this with this configuration it's not possible it it, it won't start up yeah it's okay so the two 980s and the 9590 the 9590 is a 220 watt cpu on its own so for it to plus on top of that have liquid cooling multiple hard drives and two 980s you need a thousand a thousand watts so it i don't know how they're doing this it unless they shouldn't be selectable right it, it might be just something that's on their site that's not 
that's just not uh, you know not customized properly so yeah. that it, it auto detects that but there you know it shouldn't because if you're going to choose it yourself it shouldn't let you choose the wrong parts that's just that's just kind of a you know from a, from a website guy that's yeah it's weird it's it's weird that it's that it's set automatically on that once again it's it does allow you to choose even a 600 watt if you want to subtract the money i i truly don't know how they're doing this either they're underclocking the 9590 or they're underclocking the 980s or one of them's disabled it doesn't make sense it, right. it would not properly run if you have the 750 and i know a lot of you are going to be like oh you guys are wrong you guys are wrong we're not you guys can look up power supply calculators every there's so many out there you can use the one on new egg it'll tell you that a requirement for that is over a little over nine like 968 or something like that yeah. i already exited out of it but regardless that being said we went ahead and chose one that's right so per Per requirement, not per their spec. Exactly. So at Fry's, this system runs at thirty-one seventy-nine and ninety-nine cents without tax. So I'm saying wood tax. I don't know, thirty-three hundred dollars. Right. Maybe a little more, a little less, give or take. So we went and we did new egg. So as you can see, I already added everything to the cart. But here's the stuff we went with. So we went with a nine one two, just like they did. Just Same no one. green if you, accents. If you want the green accents, honestly. The entire front mesh parts, which are the green pieces, you just pull those off, spray paint them. Yeah, I you mean, know, if you... Take, if, take, take 15, 20 minutes yeah, to do that. It's not too hard at all. I mean, if you can probably, if you have a friend that knows how to paint, you can pay him 10 bucks and he'll do it. Buy him a pizza, um, whatever. Buy him a pizza or something. One thing, though, uh, the reason I don't like the 912, um, and it's really weird, I'm the only one. One, it doesn't have a painted interior, which is really awkward. Okay, so back in the day, the 912 had the hard drives facing the towards the way. motherboard, and I did not like that. So it looks like they did the revamp that, which is awesome. But the no painted interior, I don't, I mean, it's 2015, almost 2016. There's really no reason for this. There's no reason not to. I mean, you just dip the whole thing, pull it out. Yeah. As opposed to like taping it off, spraying certain pieces. Yeah. It just seems like there's more work to do it this way. So it just, it, so. It, I, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But so there, I have a little, a few of my gripes, but regardless, that's there. So we did, they did a gigabyte 990 FX board. And the Gigabyte 990 FX board, as we can see here, it's uh, it's the 990X FXA UD3. That is the lowest possible one you can get. It's literally $110, $100 to $110 for that board. Now, now you might be surprised that we didn't go with the MSI 970. There's a reason for that. It can, the 970 can run this CPU. It can run the 9590. People have done it. But to be a little more on the safe side, we went with a 990. Now there is an MSI 990, but for some weird reason, it does specifically state that it won't run the CPU. But the 970 has been proven to do so. So I don't know what's going on there. It might, it might lower the, the lifespan of it. it. Yeah, that's possible. The board itself it, the, might not, be, listen, might the, not handle the, the voltage. Exactly, because this CPU runs pretty hot because of the voltage that it needs to run at. So we went with a ASRock 990FX Extreme 9. This is way better than the UD3 from Gigabyte. It is 149 so we spent a little more on the motherboard to give you a better motherboard. It has eight serial ATA ports, which most 990 or 970 boards do not. At the max, six. That's that's the max yeah, I've been six, finding. I didn't think... This one has six. six. Yeah. yeah. The six. nine. That's the 970 that we're talking about. I mean, about. of course it's the 970. Of course it's the 970. So we went with this. It's got overall pretty good ratings. Four out of five eggs at 164 reviews. That's... Anything under four, I would not buy. Four or up, that's what I would do. So this is definitely good. Other people have used AS Rock. Uh, multiple people online that review them, and they say it's still good. So we went with that. Now, of course, they went with, it looked like a Zotac yeah. 980s. We went with the EVGA, which, as you can see, five out of five for reviews, 165 reviews. It's the four gigabytes just like theirs. It's EVGA. EVGA is an amazing company when it comes down to uh, eight or uh, NVIDIA cards. And of course, we got two of those as well. We went with a Rosewell 1200 watt power supply. The Ultra 750 makes no sense. It, you know, the only thing I can think of is that the site doesn't work 
in a way where it will prevent you from yeah. getting the wrong stuff. It's because just, it's weird. Because you can buy, you can select lower specs. So you can select like four gig sticks. Right. So if you select the four gig sticks, only one card. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it's very, very weird. Very, very. Weird. If you select one of the lower cards, maybe. Yeah. But that being said, this is an 80 plus platinum. Awesome. It's fully modular at that. So nice. it saves you a lot of wiring room inside your case. You don't have to route all the wires in Especially the back. Especially with a smaller case Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. With that mid tower, it's... it's it, I have a Cooler Master 932, the full tower, and even that has issues with having wires in the back. So this is definitely the way to go, fully modular. They have 1866 RAM. Originally, I didn't see that. All it said was it was high frequency RAM. We picked up 2400 megahertz RAM at 32 gigs, 8 gig sticks from G Skill at 183 bucks. I mean, listen. Which is a regular price, as you can see. It's not even on sale. Yeah, it's not even on sale. We're at a point where the parts are getting so cheap now, you can get away with a lot of really cool stuff at a much lower price. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. And plus, these the RAM's been going on sale like crazy. Last yeah. Few, especially, you said you've been seeing it go last few weeks. Yeah, I mean, 16 gigs under 100 bucks average now. Yeah, Just it's average. It's crazy. So... We went with that, and 32 gigs of RAM is going to last you forever. I mean, the only time you're going to not be using this RAM is when DDR3 isn't really available anymore, and they don't even make the motherboards to hold DDR3. So, right. like, this is plenty, and this is what their system includes, so we put it in there. Now, their 9590, uh, they bought a, Ant or they include a Antec cooler. Our 9590 actually comes with a liquid cooling kit with it for 250 i th honestly i think it's gonna be the same i level. think it's antec to be honest who makes the cooler that's what's funny i believe somebody mentioned that it is antec that makes the cooler but regardless it comes with a liquid cooling solution it is a 120 millimeter liquid cooling solution just like the antec that they have in their system so there you go same processor same basic cooling liquid cooling too and you need it for this processor guys you cannot run this processor on look at, air. Look at the box. It's yeah. in It's in water. Yeah. Like, it needs it. It needs it. You cannot run air. You might... No. I mean, everything I've read on this CPU, even AMD says, if you're going to buy this CPU, buy a liquid cooling solution. If it's a custom loop that you make, or if it's an all-in-one loop system, where from Corsair, Antec, whoever, right. make sure you get if it. If you are extremely good with, with air cooling have a uh, all copper heat sink yeah maybe maybe but but even they it's don't not recommend recommended yeah it's, it's not, not recommended, recommended by amd nor is it by anybody else that's used the cpu or reviewed it and then of course finally we have the ssd uh that they use did i remove the other hard drive i did i probably didn't even click on it. so not finally but this is the ssd we went with. we went with the a data sp 900 it's got very good reviews four out of five eggs at sixty dollars, one hundred twenty-eight gigabytes. Theirs is a nine hundred. I think that's. Uh, I think that's what I'm using. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a good, uh, good unit. They are using a crucial one twenty-eight. I'm sorry, it's a one twenty-eight. Yeah. Let's bump that to a two fifty-six. I want. We'll get. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. One hundred twenty-eight. Yeah. That's, so it's a one hundred twenty-eight. Obviously, that barely obviously, fits the OS. Obviously, they're gonna be right. I know. Nowadays, it barely does, but. It's funny, his OS is smaller than it ever has been. I know, right? And then we, of course, did I not put it in here? Sure did. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, did. there it is. We did um, two terabyte Western Digital. I didn't realize they're using a Toshiba. But that being said, Western Digital, two terabyte Western Digital, very good company. Honestly, they're all very good. You're gonna have your goods and bads from these hard scared. drives. I mean, I've I've had now. I've had Samsung drives, I've had Toshiba drives, Hitachi, yep. Maxter, which is now Seagate, Seagate's you know, main drives. Uh, different series give you different benefits. Different series also have their different drawbacks. I, for one, will never ever buy Western Digital Green Drive. Uh, I know it's better on power. I know it's you know eco-friendly or whatever. It's 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 a power consumption thing. It spins down. Yeah, but it the does problem have its is problems. If you and and I I have seen this with more than one person, more than just my own experience. If you use it on a regular basis, if you are heavy usage, 
green drives, they will fail within months. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just, it's not a good way. Yeah, to we avoid the green. We go with the black or the Seagate one terabyte or the two terabyte doesn't have great reviews. But if you're going to go with a two terabyte or higher, I actually recommend the Toshibas. I would go with Toshiba, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, the four terabyte Toshiba is uh, is what I've got behind me. Yes. I've got the two terabyte And it Seagate runs amazing. So, yeah, the server's got the four. The, the, the stealth over here has the, uh, the two. Now, I did forget to add Windows, so we're going to do that right now. We're going to do Windows 10. Well, of course we're going to do Windows why, 10. Why would why we would do you, anything else? Because Windows even... 10 is new and personally better than Windows 8. And let's do Pro, just for kicks. Let's do Pro for kicks. All right, let's add that to cart. And uh, I... Th oh, and uh, let's see, an optical drive. Hey, it's right there. There was just one right there. Oh, how about that? Let's add bucks. that. Asus optical drive. Bam. So... On principle, we're just doing that just because, but... But they have it too, so why not? Let's do this. Now, I didn't add the uh, LED controller, fan controller. It's another 50 bucks, maybe. Let's, I mean, let's, even, I even a really nice one is going to be... Yeah, let's see here. LED fan controller. Let's see what we got. Is it going to search good? Because sometimes this search, yeah. There you go. All right, here we go. 60 bucks. Uh, go with this one right here? Sure. Sure, we'll put that on there. There, it looks very similar to what they have so that in the something picture. Similar on there. So, that being said, now that we have everything, once again, Fry's selling theirs for $31.79.99. Now, from what I can tell, besides specifications, Windows 8.1, I'm trying to see... Nothing else. Nothing, it doesn't look like there's anything else. I believe it's, uh, let's see here, warranty info. That's what I wanted. So warranty info. So it's got, uh, let's see, please write to fries. Warranty mm -hmm. rebates on the left there. About your manufacturer's rebate. Where are we at, right here? All right, let's do this. So it just send us back to, but basically according to Cyber, Cybertron PC, you have a one year. Uh, if we go to overview, I believe where did they say it oh no actually it was on fries my apologies what am I doing here it was on fries it's literally right here so free lifetime tech support which is good that is good I'll give them that free lifetime hit cancel that sorry about that interruptions and free lifetime tech support one year parts and labor we'll go into that now that being said the final press on our build, and let me refresh this cart. Twenty-two twenty-seven. Let's say twenty-two twenty-eight. You're saving almost a thousand dollars. Almost a thousand dollars. Even if you were to say, pick these parts out, bring it to your local tech guy. Even fries, bring it to fries. Bring it to fries. <laughs> Have them build it for you for a hundred. They would literally even, charge you even, probably a hundred, hundred and fifty bucks. Even if it's two hundred bucks, you're still saving eight hundred dollars from their price. You got better parts, and overall, I mean, even if, if you were if you wanted to get to that same price. You could have a bigger dual, SSD, dual four terabytes. You can get a, a thousand. You can get you can get a nine nine fifty six. Yeah, solid state. Uh, basically, so you a could thousand. have a terabyte solid state. You could have two four terabyte drives. Yeah. and still be under that price. Yeah, so that's that's how you got to look at it, guys. Now, here are the benefits of pre built. You don't got to build it. Sure. Yep. Yep. You just buy and you go. You buy plug it, and plug play. Plug in. Yeah. It does come with the unlimited tech support, but. That's tech support, which means you call and they give you some support. That's not warranty. The warranty is one year parts and labor, which is good. Which is good, but here's the drawback to that. Most drives come with a two to three year right. manufacturer warranty. So that's yeah. parts and labor. Even motherboards come with three years. Motherboards come with three years. And graphics uh, cards too. Three graphics years. cards, three years. Memory is a year. Almost every single component is going to have its own warranty. Now, yeah. granted. Will that be a little more work for you if something does go wrong? You got to send the hard drive in. Sure, but here's the thing: if you're not, you know, breaking the barriers on this thing and just maxing out. I mean, if you're going top end, you're not buying this. You're buying something even more, right, more yeah, ridiculous. Right? Absolutely. You're not. You're probably if you're, doing if you're top looking end for. If you're looking for a really solid build, if you buy all these parts, you put it together. If it's done right, 
you really shouldn't have to mess with it. Your solid state drive will outlive you almost guaranteed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, your, your, even your, your standard drive, again, unless you're really just cranking out, like we do video rendering and you know on a regular basis yeah. and knock on wood, no issues. So far it's been good. So, and you know, two terabytes, four terabytes over here and no problems with that. So unless, I mean, if you're gaming, you are you gotta understand, if you're gaming, your hard drive's not really being taxed that much because it's just, it's just accessing a little bit of the drive a lot of the action is happening online. A lot of the action is happening uh, via stream, and a lot of it's just in graphics and processor and memory. So it's not writing a ton of data to your computer because, especially if you play things like WoW, yeah. you're not saving a ton of that data. Yeah. You load your basic elements, let's say. So, yeah. like for instance, I I run my WoW off the the two terabyte. It runs a lot slower at first than his. Yeah. Because he runs his off the solid state. Yep. But guess what? Once I'm up and running. It's no problem, right? And my drive doesn't really get access while I'm running it because I'm just run. I'm already running the assets that are loaded, yeah. so I'm not writing new assets. I'm not, you know, unless it's installing, unless it's you know, updating whatever. You're not really messing with the drive. So right. the drive should last a long time, but everything really should essentially outlive you. Right. You know, if you're not really Crisis Three on Ultra, right? Absolutely. Whatever. Yeah. You know, I don't even know what the new the new standard is going to be for ridiculous gameplay. You know, Witcher Three on Holy Crud. You know, or you know what? <laughs> what else you could do is, you could probably, since you're saving a thousand dollars, you could go to a 500 gig SSD, and then which upgrade, is only like 150 bucks, by the way. Right. So you're only it's only like an extra 70 and bucks. And upgrade those cards from 980s to 980 Ti's, which will give you way more performance. A couple extra hundred bucks. And yeah. And then you, you, so you have way better cards that will. I don't even know why you would upgrade those for like four years. Easy, those are some ridiculous cards. Six gigs of GDDR5 RAM on it. Come on, that's it's just insane the no. speed of them. So if you had two of those, the 32 gigs of RAM you'll never need to upgrade, and plus a 500 gig SSD with the two terabyte drive. I mean, it's just it's insane how much you're saving now once again it's this is completely up to you to us it's a no-brainer we build this system on our own and we get the parts that we like so a different case uh better ssds yeah i mean i would even I mean, if you're going if, uh, this is again my personal preference if you're going with a mid tower i would just go with the stealth i'm a big fan yeah, of the absolutely stealth, so why not yeah. why not go with something that's a little nicer it's got the open side I think it's much cleaner. It's got some LEDs already, so you don't have to mess with, you know, color accents. I agree. So, it just, you have a lot more options when customizing it yourself. Um, even if you go through, you know, a, a Cybertron PC or whoever is, you know, customizer online, yeah. it's still not as custom of an experience. And really the only difference, I think, in actuality, the only difference is how much customization you get versus how much work you have to put in. Absolutely. So that's really what it is. A little bit of less customization and it's built for you. Sure. Yeah. If you don't want to put in any work or if you don't want to really think about it after you press that buy button, absolutely. Customize it online. Pick out the pick out the highest numbers. I mean if you don't know much, pick out the highest numbers and you're almost guaranteed to get the best parts. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys remember that's thousand dollars in savings from their basic basic selections. So if you wanted something that's a little better, you would be adding even more money. So like the MSI, that's the board that I have in my main rig. So if you add that, that's another $63. If you adjust uh, RAM wise, it's about as much as, it's it, it's the most they can offer, yeah, which is 1866. Is, is the best one that yeah, they got. so it's the best one they got. But I mean, even here, if you go with, uh, uh, let's see here, do they offer the TI? Yeah, so 980 Ti is another 117 per card. I mean, you are you already have that if you do it yourself. Yeah, you have those options. You, you definitely, you save a lot of money. Absolutely. As long as you're willing to put in a little work or find someone, you know. Pay your friend. You know, you got a friend that makes you computers? You almost certainly have a friend. Yeah, absolutely. That will build a computer. Give them 50 bucks. Take them out to a nice dinner. Take them to a Brazilian steakhouse. If you like meat and yeah. you want to eat a lot, yeah. if you're vegetarian, sorry, I, Subway, bad. Subway salad, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know what to do with for vegetarian. Yeah, but yeah, that's. I mean, I don't know if you want to. If there's anything else, did you want them show them maybe what parts they could get or? 
No, I mean, I think I think that that's that's a good place to start. Yeah. I mean, really, the big like I said, the big benefit is with going your own way, you're gonna have a lot more customization. A lot more. So you can choose your case, you can choose your color scheme. I mean, you can start with your you can start with your board, pick out the best board you want to get, spend the most money on the board and the processor, and then say, all right, well, my board has you know, for instance, that 970's got the black and red. So the fact that my stealth is black, it's got the the red accent colors and the, and the LEDs. That all works together for me. I went with uh, with a computer that I can have red lights on it, or with the keyboard rather. Absolutely, so, yeah. It's one of those things that you can start with that. If, if you don't care about color scheme, you go with the top end parts. You know, yeah. if you say, I don't want to spend this much money, you, you fill in the gaps. You got to remember, almost certainly you're going to need an optical drive, yeah. but you're never going to need a Blu ray drive. Right, I'll exactly. Be honest with you. Exactly. Blu ray as a technology has been eclipsed by digital media so fast that it, it's become almost irrelevant as a media. Um, you know, it was going to be, oh, you were going to be burning 25 gig discs and that was going to be the new thing. Right. But then flash memory became so cheap, there was no competition. And that's the thing. And even I have a Blu-ray drive. I got one a little yeah. bit ago when I was in Tulsa and I haven't, I haven't used it once. I and plus mine, on top of that, I finally that, you put know, mine on the media center. You book. know what the other problem with Blu-ray drives was a whole nother thing to talk about, but if you buy the Blu-ray drive, you don't necessarily get the software to play the Blu-rays. Yeah, so you still have to get the software. Issue. So realistically, you get a ten, twenty dollar Blu-ray yeah. or and that's DVD, what they are DVD burner. Yeah, you know, so something like that you don't have to worry about. Basic things like Windows, you get the latest Windows, you get the sixty-four bit yeah. copy. You don't have to worry about which edition. Get the home, get the Pro. Pro doesn't is, matter Pro, either way. Yeah, Pro isn't going to give you much more. Unless you have data you want to protect, right. there's some extra features there. And um, I think it allows you to have more RAM. I think that might be the case. I know it was back in the past. I don't know if they've changed that for no, now. No, it's just 64 versus 32. Okay. So, but, yeah. But, yeah, no, it's... it's but it, honestly, it's it's, it's a $1,000 in savings that you could spend on even better parts. Honestly, at almost $3,200 from Fry's, you could build an awesome 2011 socket Intel board set up for that much i'm already looking at it for myself and i'm at about 35 3600 so for an extra 400 bucks i could have a way better system Tired. don't get me wrong we're amd we love amd yeah. we love all of them but we definitely love amd so we have we use amd you guys see it's put amds all the time together but that being said if i'm spending over three thousand dollars intel yeah i mean really especially if it's for a purpose you know He's building a rendering computer. Yeah. I'm sorry, you know, byte for byte, Intel's better than, than AMD. Now, we'll see when AMD is coming in 2016 with a new performance CPU. We'll see what happens. Right. But as of right now, yes, Intel is a better. And if you're spending over $3,000, there's no reason not to have Intel. But that being said, you guys, you see it for yourself, $800 to $1,000 in savings. I don't there's, know why you just, wouldn't do it. Yeah, even I, if you spend fifty to hundred bucks you, paying somebody to put it together. Again, if you if you just want to save the time of having someone put it together, save the hassle of having to pick out parts and and the sure. warranty. The text here's the thing: the tech support is nice. Again, right? It, it, it is that difference. If you put up, want to put in a little more work, you want to you know do some research, figure out some issues. If you do come up with any, then I would say save your money and build something super custom. Yeah. If you just don't want to deal with that, I mean, I know people, my fiance, or, I'm sorry, my wife. Ooh. Ooh. Blang, blang, kiss the ring. <laughs> uh, my wife, my wife is very much like that. She doesn't want to deal with it. Yeah. It better work or somebody better fix it. Absolutely. Those are the only two options. Yeah. Her, she had this, a single error the other day and she calls me like the computer was blowing up. <laughs> and I'm like, what did you do? She's like, I turned it on. I'm like, what the, wow, how I know, did you? Right? And it was just a single error, but you know, for me, it's like no big deal. But to her, it was like I don't want to deal with it, fix it, make it go away. So if you if you are like that, absolutely get something that's custom built with, that comes with tech support. Because realistically, if you need the tech support, you should get something with tech support. Yeah. But that's it, guys. That's you know we can keep going on about this, yeah. but that's about it. You want to outro it? <laughs> Appreciate you guys for watching. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Uh, if you have any questions about this build, building PCs, whatever, whatever, uh, make sure you drop it down below. We're, we're definitely, you know, keeping an eye out. 
And uh, watch out for a couple new videos coming up. We got some uh, good stuff. I know we, we've been kind of sparse in while we put these out, but uh, we've got some announcements. Yeah. Uh, we've got a contest that we're going to be running. Uh, I've got like 36 games we or something to lot. give away. We so. still are waiting. You know, once we hit that 500, we have we still have all the prizes for the 500 subscribers. But we're going we're to do the video so, for that soon. Yeah. Just everything. I'm going to stop collecting games and we're just going to announce everything. And Absolutely. But yeah, I uh, appreciate you for watching. If you have uh, any questions, I already said all that. I'm just, I'm tired. It's kind of late now. Yeah. We're out. Peace. Later.